If you hadn't been blinded by vengeance, we could have prevented some of those deaths. Shut up. From the beginning, it was obvious that Resident Evil 6 was going to be an immeasurably stupid action game. So I decided early on that I would just accept it for how absurd it was and enjoy the ride. I couldn't have made a better choice because I played through this entire game with a smile on my face. It's just sequence after sequence of over-the-top nonsense and I really enjoyed myself because of it. Him again? Friend of yours? More like an ex-girlfriend. Guy doesn't know when to quit. Welcome to the club. You get used to it. The Resident Evil series has never been totally sane in the head, and its insanity has been getting worse and worse in recent memory. The idea that maybe this series was kinda supposed to be a little scary was the only thing keeping its insanity at bay, but now that they've totally given up on that, this game is able to reach new levels of lunacy that other action games would never even attempt. Most other games have some sense of restraint. Resident Evil 6 does not. The first thing that Leon does in his campaign is shoot the zombie president in the head, and I think that sets the tone for the rest of the game pretty well. I actually wasn't enjoying myself at first. They make you play through this prelude chapter, which is just a sequence from later on in Leon's story. It's pretty bad and extremely linear. It doesn't matter what direction you point here, it still moves you through this hallway as if you're holding forward. The sequence doesn't even play out like this when you actually get to it in Leon's story, so I really don't see the point. Then the first few areas were kind of bland, but once I saw this city plummeting into madness with people comically crashing into everything, I started to warm up to it and it was one long string of ridiculousness from that point on. You're throwing people around like they're nothing. You're stuffing dynamite down their mouths. You're fighting zombies on planes, underwater, and on skyscrapers. Chris is having an actual war with people infected with this game's new sea virus, and they're parachuting down from helicopters onto him and manning tanks. The new character Jake is jumping a motorcycle over a city and breakdance fighting the infected. This is all so gloriously idiotic to the point where I don't see how anyone can really be mad at it. There's no reason to get worked up over something this far gone. My biggest complaint with Resident Evil 5 was that it felt stuck between horror and action and ended up being lackluster because of it. So I'm glad this game decided to pick one direction. They've dropped a lot of 4 and 5's design in order to make a faster paced game. Item management is almost non-existent now. I only dropped one thing throughout the course of the four campaigns. You never have to worry about your partner unless you're playing with someone else and you can carry all of your weapons at once and switch between them on the fly. Even though the game is incredibly dumb, I legitimately enjoyed the gameplay. It's good and makes things like Mercenaries mode even more fun to play. In terms of shooting, it's your standard affair. But the game incorporates movement and melee mechanics in a way that gives it its own identity and creates an interesting gameplay experience. There are also a ton of different enemies in this game, and some of them mutate into different ones depending on how you hit them. A lot of them would fit really well into a Siren game. On one last note, Resident Evil 6 isn't as detailed or polished graphically as 5 was, but I appreciate it more stylistically. The use of colors and overall character design is much more appealing here than in 5. The areas are also a lot more vibrant and animated. Would I have preferred another horror Resident Evil game? Sure, but this is a fun game for what it is, and it's got one of the most entertainingly convoluted and ridiculous stories in recent memory. If you're looking for a good laugh, I would recommend it. It's actually kind of relaxing to play something this simple-minded.